Hi, I'm Gonçalo Andrade. I'm an EST student and I'm doing this video for my physics master thesis. Today, I'm going to talk about a new method that is revolutionizing the way we do astrophysics. What if we could see inside our sun? What if we could see inside any star? Today, I'm going to tell you about this. Today, I'm going to tell you about astroseismology. Everyone loves listening to music, and I'm sure everyone can make the difference between a violin and a piano. Even when they play the same note. And why is this? Well, it is a fact that an object's shape and properties greatly influence the sound it produces when excited. Even in the same guitar, you change the vibrating length of the string and you pick a different note. The sound you hear is different. Now, let us think for a second. What if there's a way of finding out how an object is by recording and analyzing the sound it produces? Well, that's more or less the aim of astroseismology. To use vibrations in stars, how a star oscillates, to find out its properties. Another phenomenon everyone knows but may not be aware of is the Doppler effect. That effect you hear when a car or an ambulance pass near you. You hear a higher sound when it's approaching and a lower sound when it's getting away. That happens because the motion of the sound producer, the car, relative to the receptor, you, causes the frequency measured to be different from the emitted. This has many applications. For instance, if you know the frequency an object should be emitting and you measure a different one, you can easily calculate the speed of that object. Now, as you know, atoms have emission and absorption spectra. These spectra have lines with a very definite frequency. As we have seen, if the atom is moving relative to us, its frequencies should undergo a Doppler shift and we can calculate its speed. By measuring spectral differences, we can then measure the movement of those atoms. Since stars have atoms, and these atoms move when the star vibrates, we can use the changes in their spectrum to know how the star is vibrating. The question now is, what do we use these things for? And the answer is to know more about the universe and to understand how it works. By knowing how a star vibrates, we can use astroseismology to understand its interior. And understanding its interior is essential to understand the life of a star. An important thing to notice is that measuring a star's oscillation requires a tremendous amount of precision. Only 20 years ago, the only star we could actually measure something was our own sun. In the meantime, development of technology and space missions, namely Corot and Kepler, allowed us to measure vibrations in several thousand stars. This flow of data is revolutionizing the way we look and the way we study stars. In my thesis, I want to understand what happens inside stars. In particular, I want to study what happens to the core rotation when the star evolves to the red giant phase. But first, what is a red giant? Stars, like our Sun, begin their life as gas clouds, with lots of hydrogen and helium, and some smaller quantities of other elements. Given the right conditions, this cloud contracts, warms up, and might reach enough nuclear temperature to start burning hydrogen in fusion reactions. Then the star stabilizes and begins the main sequence phase, where the star will stay most of its life. Our own Sun is in this phase right now. After a while, the star dries out all the hydrogen in the nucleus. 
the core contracts and the outer shells expand, usually to something roughly 50 times bigger than our sun. The surface temperature cools down and the star becomes more red. So we have a giant red star and we call it a red giant. If you ever tried spinning while you sit in a desk chair, you probably noticed that when you contract your arms and legs, you spin up. And when you, you extend them, you slow down. This is due to a phenomenon called conservation of angular momentum. Scientists using astroseismology have already managed to measure the rotation of the core in some red giants. They reach the amazing conclusion that the core of these stars can rotate more than 10 times faster than the surface. The goal now is to use these methods to look inside red giant stars, deep into their core, and try to find out if conservation of angular momentum is verified or if there is some kind of interaction between the core and the outer shells that results in a change in this quantity. A final note. Who we are, where we came from, and where we are going. All these vital questions to understand our place in the universe can be partially understood if we know our neighbors, if we know, if we know what our sun was in the past and what it's going to become in the future. We have to understand these objects, the stars, that have such an impact in our lives that we literally couldn't live without them. Thanks for watching.